Hello, good evening, class. Good evening. How are you? Lo siento, no sé qué pasó, pero yo estaba conectado en otra. Good evening. Good evening, hi. Donde siempre me meto, yo, qué raro que no se ha metido nadie. Sí, yo ya había entrado y me sacó y luego me decía que usted, que el anfitrión estaba en otra reunión ya y así. A mí también. I'm sorry. Qué raro. A mí también me dio lo mismo. Me sacó y me costó volver a entrar. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't know what happened. Ok, let me see. Let me open it. Let me open here. Okay, we're in now. So everybody's here. Carmen, hello, Carmen, Giovanni, Roxana, Norma, Alba, Dan, Miguel, Maria, Stella, and Gustavo. Hello. All right, let me see. So let's finish the lessons. The chair. Yes. Uh, I have tried to make an exercise that actually last week we saw that it was in the, the audio. It's about carnival or something like that. I don't know if someone else have done that, but I have tried to write some answers, but they are always incorrect. I don't know if you The lesson is at 4.0, 4.1, 2, Let 3, me see. Let 3, me see. 4, 2, I think. I look for the audio 3. in another... Is... In another way, I found it, but the answer doesn't match. I don't mean the first. This one? Yes. yes. So what is a carnival? Let's let's listen to it. Let's listen to it. Page 52. Exercise 5. Listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil. 
but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. What is a carnival? A carnival. Party. Party. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this our version and then I will show you the technical specific version. Because I can see a carnival is a party that lasts four days. And not exactly. A carnival can be one day, can be two days, or yes? Yes. So carnival is a big party. How long does it last? Four days, four days, four days, four days. When is it? Late in February, Brazil, or, late in early February March. or early in March. What is samba? Yeah, it's a uh, special yeah. music dance. for kind of like dance. Dance for carnival. Okay, so listen. What is a carnival? It is a party. I wrote it, but it was wrong when I did it. Yeah. It's a party. How long does it last? It lasts for four whole days, four whole days, for four days. When is it? <clears throat> it's all, all these are the possible answers. It's on late February or early March. Let's see. Let's do one thing. I'm going to copy paste. Oh, All right, I got him right. Yeah. Man, I am good. I don't know what is the problem. What? The, the period? You say punto final? The final, the period. Period. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, y, FYI, para su información, también así se le dice la menstruación de la mujer. How? Se le dice, I am on my period. O sea, nunca van a decir, I am on my ruler. No. Solo en español dicen regla. Ando la regla. I don't know why que tiene que haber regla. Pero... <laughs> Me neither, but... 
we we learned to say that. I yes. En English es periodo porque ya estoy en el periodo de no sé lo que le pasa a la mujer en ese entonces. No sé qué es el objetivo de la regla, pero tiene más lógica en inglés. I am in my period. O creo que es el lava el cuadro, no, pero en inglés es period. O sea, nunca digan, oh, I am in my ruler. What? Your ruler? You can't say ruler. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me see here now. Let's listen to this exercise. Listen to people discuss changes in their neighborhood. Check the topic each person talks about. So let's listen to the woman on, and the man. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. So what does the woman talk about? She mentions families. Environment. Excuse me? 
about environment. 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 about environment. Yeah. Okay, then the what about the man? Transportation. Transportation. And the woman? Family. 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 Shopping. Okay, let's listen to this possible situations. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, let's do one thing. So if it's a possibility and the consequence is a future, right? Yes. So um, if El Salvador, if La Selecta, <laughs> if La Selecta practices all the experience, maybe they will qualify in 20 years. <laughs> if Ukele wins Ghana one more term, Definitely Arena and FMLN will disappear. And maybe, definitely, I think. So maybe it's a good option for another, <clears throat> another option. <clears throat> do you think that, do you think if Bukele wins one more time, definitely Arena and FMLN disappear? I think so. If possible. Yes. yes. I, hope, I hope they all disappear. Yes. All right. Uh, Evelyn, what would you say if your boyfriend proposes to you tonight? No, on the weekend. Uh oh, you have a problem with the speaker again. Now? You're on a motorcycle. Hi. Better, yeah. Oh yeah, better, much better. I, I use the advice of, of Daniel again. <laughs> yes. So imagine if your boyfriend asks you to marry him on the weekend, 
what will you say? I will say yes. I if. She doubted. <laughs> but you have to finish. If. Yes. If he asks me to marry me. Because this is a conditional. I mean, this doesn't exist. There's a possibility. But a possibility is 50-50. 50% 50 -50. maybe, no. 50% maybe, yes. I will say yes if he has to. Okay, good. What if he asks you to marry him in 10 years? Uh, I, I will say yes if, if I have a relation. Yeah, I would say you're crazy. 15 years and, and you never asked me to marry you? Now you want to marry me? No. All right, very good. Melissa. Hi, teacher. Hi, Melissa. What, what would happen if what would happen if in El Salvador it snows? Snow? Snow. Let it maybe. snow, let it snow, let it snow. Uh, maybe many people will die for who? Okay, many, many, yes. Many people will die because people are not prepared for the cold. Yes. Aunque la nieve no es muy helada, le diré. Lo que es helado es el viento. But yes, the snow <laughs> is cold, yes, but... Really, what is cold is the wind. <laughs> Alba. Yes. What will you do if you see your husband with another woman? <laughs> but, 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 no, but, no, but, but they're, they're only talking. Only talking, but she's very, very beautiful. And they're eating lunch at work. Um, you, know, you know, he says, Mira, mi amor, voy a ir a comer con gente de la oficina. Oh, okay, baby, no problem. And then you see him in, in a restaurant with a very, very beautiful woman. <laughs> Uh, I go write him a WhatsApp saying goodbye, and if if I see him with another but, girl. But why? He's only eating lunch. <laughs> because he told me that he was going to eat with some um, some um, you say co-workers. Yes, uh, but, co -workers, you but she is a co-worker. But so you said in, in the office. <laughs> technically, technically, he did not lie. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, that, that happened to one friend of mine. Really? Yes. <laughs> and I, I, I said, technically, you did not lie. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> technically. <laughs> All right. Miguel Garcia. Hello. What do you think would happen if Fito Celaya goes to La Selecta? Um, if Fito Celaya go to the Selecta, maybe uh, pay uh, other uh, players. Yeah, he will. He will take money again. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Very good. So you see, um, the if situation is in present, and then the possibility is in the future. Yes. 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 
for example, my 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 son. Oh my God, he's terrible. I really love him, but he's so terrible. Oh God. If my wife tells me she's pregnant, I will die. <laughs> I will die in that moment. Like, oh no. Hmm. If you have a son in the future, Gustavo, what will you name him or her? If I had a, a song in the future, maybe I will name him Alessandro. And if, if it's a girl, maybe Emma Valentina. Very good, yes. Yo por pasé siete, ocho meses pensando que mi hijo era niña. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Um, caí como en una semidepre. <laughs> no, no, it was good. I, 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 I was happy because he's a boy. Then see, yo quería un niño. I wanted a boy. But in the ultra, it was a girl. Porque, que se va vuelta, right? So what I did is I observed all the girls. And one thing I like, for example, Evelyn, you're 29. Melissa, you're 27. Siempre le dicen al papá, mi papi. And I said, yeah, hey, cool, my baby. I'm always going to be her daddy. And, and then I only focus on girls, girls, on little girls. Like, wow, okay. So I had my big idea of a girl. Yeah, but, and girls are more closer to 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 the father. To the fathers, yeah. So I yes, I can him. see it with my daughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah, her name was going to be Isabella. Zoe, Isabella. And then suddenly, my wife calls me. Look, it's a boy. What? It's a boy. I I got very depressed. I don't know why. Maybe uh, maybe an effect of the embarazo, but I got depressed. Maybe depression. Yeah. Yes, because I I was I was, but I, I'm very very happy now. He's a boy. Yeah. Yes. Tengo una sobrinita que está en pleno desarrollo y tiene como 16 años. Me da una cólera cuando la ven. Like we go to the mall and, and men look at her. Oh, I get so angry. So imagine, imagine, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so imagine, thank you, I have a boy. I have a boy. So yes, uh, so if Gustavo has a boy or a girl, he will name him um, Alessandro Naive and or, <laughs> or Zoe <laughs> Valentina. Naive. Maluma. Maluma. <laughs> Bonnie. Box Bonnie. Bonnie Alessandro. Bonnie Manuel va poner. All right. Okay. Maria Stella, are you there? No. Carmen, are you there? Roxanne, yes, teacher. You? Yes, teacher. You scared oh. me. You scared me. No, teacher. Hey, do you remember that song? Because I know that you like 80s music. Do you remember that song? If you leave, don't leave. Yes. Now. Please don't. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah. Oigan, I listen. Yes. I listen to condition and future. Because if you leave, I won't cry. I won't. I love that song, man. Como ese meme, yo no siempre escucho música de los ochentas, pero cuando la escucho, también mis vecinos. Mm. Full, full <laughs> watts. All right. So, do you understand the, the situations that if and the future? Yes. 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 
If I fall in love, Teacher, it will I have be a question. forever. Yes. In this case, I can use a ghoul or only will in the future. No, you can say would. Ah, okay. For example, if Alba sees her husband with a, another woman, she would break up with him. And, okay. that is, and that is bad because he didn't lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he didn't Technic. lie. Technically, <laughs> yes. So you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Da Danielle, are you there? Hi. Hello, Daniel. Yes, I hear. Daniel, if if you take off your glasses, you won't see or you will see good. You you Okay, you, you have glasses, yeah? What happens if you take them off? And yes, I I take most class. No, no, no. Remember, there's a possibility. If uh, imagine you're driving, pasa un ladrón, and whoosh, he takes your glasses. Like, oh my god! And that happens, you know, with your glasses. So if you take take off your glasses. You won't see? Mm, yes. Uh, I, I see the class. But uh, not very good. Not very good. Okay, good. Thank you. Very good. Yes. Okay, good. I have a friend that he has glasses that if, if he takes off his glasses, he won't see. He won't see. He has. <clears throat> he has yeah. a yes. He really. He one time he was reading like this in the monitor, and I said, "Are you serious?" Yes, with no glasses, he won't see. So sad. Very cool. Yes, but I think I think he went to Brazil or Mexico. I don't remember to get an operation. All right, okay, let's see what's next here. If you leave, don't leave now. Please don't take my heart away. If you eat less junk food, do you know what is junk food? Hamburgers. Yes, like a fast food. Yeah. What are you gonna do with all that junk? That junk inside your trunk. I'm gonna get, get, get you drunk. Remember, who was that? Black Eyed Peas. No, it was the Black Eyed Peas. What are you going to do with all that junk? That junk inside your trunk? Yes, Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, junk food is... Hamburgers, pizza. Maybe in El Salvador, typical food is junk food. Because junk food is bad. Is food bad for you? And why why is pizza bad? Because it's very greasy. So pupusas are bad. Yes. So what happens if but you eat? No, of course. <laughs> it's the best food. Junk food is the best food. Okay. <laughs> so what happens if you eat less junk food? Mm -hmm. You will get cholesterol in your blood. No, but it says what happened if you eat less. We I'm sorry. Uh, you, you're you're you showing the, get the, the screen. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> you will get that healthy. You know, actually you lose weight. Actually the two are, are okay. But maybe you may feel healthier. 
Yeah. Did you watch? Do you like The Simpsons? Also. Did you see the episode of The Simpsons, the priority of Crepúsculo, de, de la película? <laughs> no. Man, that was no. funny. That was funny. Really? <laughs> because a vampire, era Edward, do you saw the movie, correct? Yes. Yeah. So in The Simpsons, Edward fell in love with Lisa, you know, like the big love. <laughs> and and Lisa said, oh, bite me, bite me. <laughs> and when he was going to bite her, Homer said, no. And Homer jumped. So then the vampire bit Homer. It was like 30 seconds. You know, the vampire. Oh, yes. Because he had a lot of blood. And then suddenly the vampire dies. <laughs> y dice el doctor, nunca había visto eso. Murió de colesterol. <laughs> it was funny, man. It was very, very funny. The, all the cholesterol that Homer Simpson had. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it was funny. You should see that. I, I, I was laughing. So if you eat less junk food, you might feel healthier. Ojo, también, you may lose weight, is correct, too. If you walk to work every day. I don't see the screen. Only you or everybody? I don't know. Pueden ver mi pantalla. You are no. Oh, thank you. Now I I do. All right, cool. So, do you see my screen now? If you eat less junk food, what what might happen? Number three, you might feel healthier. You might lose weight. Oh, you may lose weight. So you know, in my opinion, the three are correct. Three, three. Well, four no. is correct too. Mm. The first four are correct, but let's do this. Maybe you may you might feel healthier. Number two, if you walk to work every day, you want you may lose weight. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake. Yeah, that's that's. If you exercise. You may I think that one's you may lose weight. If you don't get married, you have more money to spend on yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. one. I, I don't like these exams because take this advice. Because <laughs> the answers, there's more possible answers. So So according to this, the exact, if you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. Yes. If you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape. I'll stay in shape. If you exercise. You won't. You may feel. Very nice. It says, in this class, you will read an article about falling in love. As you read, you develop skills in reading for specific information. So let's see. Are you in love? After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? So let's, let's do this. Okay, listen, you think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person. 
but this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our readers said. <clears throat> First of all, do you understand what is a crush? Yes. What is a crush? <clears throat> no, because amor platónico is un amor inalcanzable, supuestamente, like. Uh, un amor que nunca podrá ser porque o oh, él está casado <laughs> o oh, está en otro país o oh, es famoso whatever crushes when you Persona when you especial. when you really really like a person maybe maybe a little obsession you really like a person nunca se han dado cuenta en el sub o cuando van en la calle o algo así Depende cómo anda la pareja, uno puede determinar cuánto tienen de andar. <laughs> For example, I was in the supermarket with my wife, and there were this stupid couple, una pareja. They were hugging, así van los dos, like hugging and holding hands, y, y, y empujando la carretilla. Really, man, in a supermarket? Yeah. One month, minimum. One month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Hasta lo miraba. Mira eso. Te gusta. Te gusta a ti. Yes. Y a ti. No. Si no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> no, so a crush is like when you really like them. You know, it's like for men, it's like when we go to sleep, like, wow, I am so happy. I am the happiest man in the world. And you wake up like this. Yuppie. Pero solo dura como two months, maybe. Those two months is a crush. Ustedes vieron de regreso al futuro. No. No. Yes, yes teacher. But wait. Yes. You have never watched Back to the Future, Alba? Really? Maybe one of them. But okay. When I was a little bit. I don't okay. remember. But remember part one, cuando la mamá estaba enamorada de él? Yes. That yes. was that was a crush. Because when she saw him, wow, you know, like that's a crush. Okay. So it says, you think you're falling in love, you're really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before. And it was just a crush. So let a En buen salvadoreño, un encule. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our readers said. If you are falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or telephone the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there is not. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, uh, bye. Bye. You eating, first. You <laughs> uh, no, you first. So, no, you. No, you. Okay, in three. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> Now it's like, ring. ¿Qué pasó? Está bien el niño. Okay. What do you want? No, mentira. <clears throat> if you're falling in love, you will find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. 
When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. You might interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last night. Oh, yes. No tienen un amigo o amiga que siempre habla del novio o novia, esposo o esposa. Yes. <laughs> yes. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all, all about football, I know she's in love, said a TV sports announcer. Sí, um, wait, pero aquí voy a corregir algo. You might suddenly be interested. No, you pretend to be interested. A mí me tocó ir a ver Sex in the City al cine. I love this movie. It's good. Huh? Excuse me? I love this movie. It's good. Oh, every woman loves that movie. <laughs> but no, um, or... no man loves that movie. Why? Why? <laughs> Tell me about. <laughs> en la película, la chava le fue infiel al chavo y él le pide perdón a ella mejor. Quizás fue mi culpa porque te descuidé y le compró un anillo de diamante. I don't know. I don't remember what movie. Es la segunda. Es la segunda. En la primera, él la deja plantada en la iglesia. Uh, y me quedo <laughs> like, are you serious? And you see women. Ay, qué lindo. Oh, my God. He's very handsome. <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Pero les pedimos que vean duro de matar con nosotros. No. Rambo, no. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> no, Harry Potter is an ugly movie. And I was, oh. waiting, I was waiting for your answer. <laughs> Listen, okay, so you falling in love. But falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell? As time passes that you're still in love. If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you're in love with. You might not call him or her often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. I, I am still in love with my wife. Because I still... 15 years, 15 años later, I still prefer her company than my friends. I wow. still yeah, I still prefer to go to a bar with my wife to my friends. So I if si es cierto esto, then I am still in love with my wife. <laughs> You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Yeah, that's true. It's good. So... Are you still in love? Let me see, Carmen, are you still in love with your husband? Yes, of course, teacher. Of course, good. I like, me gusta el final lo que dice. Falling. I always, I, I always, I, I watch all the Die Hard movie. All oh, parts. Oh, man. So it's my, it, in fact, oh man, good for you. Good for you. All right. So let's see. My pregunta aquí no. So in this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and jobs requ and job requirements when gerunds and short, short responses will be used. So, 
So let's, let's pay attention to gerunds, to ING, and short answers. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Now it's easy to understand, correct? So let's listen, it said, wow, another lesson. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to make statements with gerunds and giving short responses. Vamos a ver. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so, 
to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject and when we have a negative statement we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, I think we've done, we've done um, gerunds before, correct? Hello? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, mi cámara no sé qué le pasó, pero... Um, ya hemos hecho gerunds before, right? Yeah. I like, okay, hagamos el so do I and neither do I. So do I is when you agree. Cuando está de acuerdo conmigo en forma positiva. Neither is, está de acuerdo conmigo, pero en negativa. For example, I like pizza, so do I. I don't like reggaeton, neither do I. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. So let me see, let me see, let me see. So um, we'll continue this tomorrow, okay, with the gerunds. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, then. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.